How Beer Works Fermentation Fermentation is the process by which yeast converts the glucose in the wort to ethyl alcohol and carbon dioxide gas. Fermentation gives the beer both its alcohol content and its carbonation. To begin the fermentation process, the cooled wort is transferred into a fermentation vessel to which the yeast has already been added. If the beer being made is an ale, the wort will be maintained at a constant temperature of 68 F, 20 C, for about two weeks. If the beer is a lager, the temperature will be maintained at 48 F, 9 C, for about six weeks. Since fermentation produces a substantial amount of heat, the tanks must be cooled constantly to maintain the proper temperature. When the wort is first added to the yeast, the specific gravity of the mixture is measured. Later, the specific gravity may be measured again to determine how much alcohol is in the beer and to know when to stop the fermentation. The fermenter is sealed off from the air except for a long narrow vent pipe, which allows carbon dioxide to escape from the fermenter. Since there is a constant flow of carbon dioxide through the pipe, outside air is prevented from entering the fermenter, which reduces the threat of contamination by stray yeasts. The bottom of the fermenter is cone-shaped to capture and remove the yeast and use it in the next batch of beer. When the specific gravity has reached a predetermined level, the carbon dioxide vent tube is capped. Now the vessel is sealed, so as fermentation continues, pressure builds as carbon dioxide continues to be produced. This is how the beer gets most of its carbonation. And the rest will be added manually later in the process. When fermentation has finished, the beer is cooled to about 32 F, 0 C. This helps the remaining yeast settle to the bottom of the fermenter. Along with other undesirable proteins that come out of solution at this lower temperature. The beer is then slowly pumped from the fermenter and filtered to remove any remaining solids. From the filter, the beer goes into another tank, called a bright beer tank. This is its last stop before bottling or kegging.